Awesome. You listen? Yeah, come on in. So there's a couple things we did there real fast. I'll kind of explain. He tried a different, couple different electric guitar parts, and we're just trying to find what the song needs, not necessarily just trying to slap an electric guitar on there. So we found the cool holes on the pre-chorus and the chorus, and just by having him strum less or strum harder, it'll fit itself perfectly in the mix. By changing his pickup selector, we got a nice thin tone that got, stays out of the way of the organ, stays out of the way of the acoustic, and adds a nice lift on the chorus, which is what we wanted. And just by how Eli plays hard or soft, he can EQ and volume and bounce himself in the mix. So that was pretty cool on that. I rode the fader on the electric guitar just because on his, his really fast picking on the pre-chorus, you kind of lose steam after the initial chord changes. And so I rode the fader up to keep his volume balanced and kind of swoop in so it kind of feels like a little wave. So um, a lot of times I feel like with music, if you just hear it perfectly the whole time, you kind of zone out on it after that. So I like to ride it so you hear it, it kind of goes and it, it has a place to ramp back up. So you kind of feel this motion in the music and the song and it kind of grabs your attention more and stuff. So really it's just building tension and trying to make things cinematic. So that's why just by picking a selector on the guitar, by him strumming hard or soft, all those things really affect the song and it's not done with EQ, it's not done with compression, it's not done with plugins or outboard gear later in the mix, it's all done at the source by the player and that's what really feels the best to me and, and really makes the music speak the best. So and if he had just played through the whole song on one pickup, I would do some things later, try and EQ or make it bigger each time or grow. But by him doing it, it's more natural and it just sounds really cool and he switches to the next thing. It's those subtle things in records we love and stuff sure. that really, I think, make a big difference. You know, like on um, Link Ray, on that famous Rumble song, he changes the tremolo as the song goes, the tremolo changes. And you don't really notice it at first, but when you really listen to that record, it's fantastic. And it, those are things that you just happen on, magic things that happen on the spot in the record that really make the record, as opposed to trying to fake it later in the mix. So that's why you spend a little extra time up front. It'll save you hours in the back end trying to make something more unique or special. So thanks to Eli for playing so good. Pretty baby, that's love. Yeah.